Okay, so me and my mates, we were sat literally next to the Burj Khalifa. This was after Gumball 3000 had just departed from, you know, their main start line. We were all relaxing, we had a day of filming and it was brilliant. You know, we got to see some amazing cars. And of course, whilst in Dubai, yes, it's more of a chilled out week, but also of course filming cars. We thought, yes, we can have an evening just chilling. You know, we've worked hard today filming. Then all of a sudden we go on Instagram and Andrew Tate, Andrew Tate is, at the moment, you know, you cannot deny he's one of the most famous people in the world. Most talked about, right or wrong reason, you, you know, you can't deny it. This guy is the most famous person on earth at the moment. And his brother was doing a live stream. And we thought, okay, we'll click on it. Because we know that his most famous car, probably also one of the most famous cars at the moment in the world, the Bugatti Chiron Pure Sport. Andrew Tate's very own Bugatti that he's personalized. It's a one of one spec in it's copper, amazing color. So of course on every you know, news article, everyone is saying that Andrew Tate's Bugatti got seized. Well, I'm literally 99% sure it hasn't. You know, it's the biggest clickbait you can get because of having the most famous talked person on earth at the moment, and maybe not for the right reason, Reasons, but his Bugatti being seized is such a good story. But I've got a mate that literally lives down the block from his Dubai apartment and it's just been sat on the driveway. Don't get me wrong, all the cars in Romania that he owns, he's got a big supercar garage, they have got seized. And there's videos of them on TikTok, on Instagram, of them on the back of trailers. But this whole title of everyone saying Andrew Tate's Bugatti's been seized, it hasn't. It was literally sat on his driveway in Dubai because of He's been arrested in Romania, which means all the cars has gone, the house has gone, or has been seized for now. His other cars out in Dubai, which is the 812 Competizione, 812 GTS, 720S, and then you've got the Pure Sport. They're just, as far as I know, collecting dust at the moment. Who knows, the police might go, you know, around the world to seize the cars, but I think that's a bit pointless when, you know, he's in Romania being seized, but um, it's a good clickbait story, but for now, the Bugatti is safe uh, on the driveway. Okay, so according to the top G, Andrew Tate, his Bugatti is a complete one of one spec. It's got Tate engraved in the seats. He's even added extra speakers to it, which I don't know with Bugatti if that's even allowed to do, but he, went, he shipped it to like Germany, got it all fixed. But if I'm about to read you the Bugatti color name that he's come up with, I can assure you Bugatti, I don't think I agree with this, but Andrew Tate himself, according to him, has called the Bugatti Chiron Pure Sport the top G, top striker, stole your girl, self-made, 300 million, tall, strong, sexy, four times world championship, bad man, copper. And that is what he's called the colour for his Bugatti Chiron Pure Sport. And his brother's on this live stream and he's in the car racing. And all five of us look at each other, sat around having our drinks and we're like, that's Dubai's aerodrome. And then when you kind of put the two and two together, we are literally half an hour from that. And of course we could tell it was not the Bugatti. It's a, I think it was a 720S. And then they start talking like, oh, we're gonna race all the cars. And then this is where our eyes light up because we're like, well, if they're on about racing all the cars and he's with all the mates, we could be talking about a few supercars here, but mainly to see the Bugatti Chiron. So we're all like, what do we do? What do we do? Because you know, it's not, it's not easy to, it's easy to get around Dubai, but it's, a hassle to jump in all the Ubers, find the right place to actually get in because this could be a private event. We don't even know if they're gonna be there for how long. Don't get me wrong, we are sat on the grass at the Burj Khalifa. The Dubai Autodrome is a good half an hour away. This is Friday evening and there will be traffic. So we need to give ourselves really an hour and these guys could be leaving in 10 minutes. So it's kind of like, what do we do? What do we do? Do we have a nice chilled out evening? We thought, well, it's actually our first day out of the seven days we're here. Stuff it, let's go for it. Was walking, you know, steady pace. He goes, oh, the Bugatti's next. And then that's when we're like, okay, okay. Laces done up on the shoes and we sprinted for that Uber because we thought, why not? We're car enthusiasts. Forget Andrew Tate at this point. To see this Bugatti Chiron for our sakes of our own channels, you know, it'll do well. It's good to post. But for me personally, anyway, because I like to find these cars around the world and especially Bugattis, to see this one of one Bugatti, I was like, Hell yeah, I really want to see it. We quickly got to the nearest Uber and sadly there was five of us and taxis out there really only take three. So then we're in a bit where we're rushing around, you know, we're trying to keep track of our phone data's going so we can't even hear if they're gonna leave the track or not. We're like, should we split the Ubers? And us three in front, we went straight into the first one we got. We zoomed off, we told the Uber driver, right, Dubai Autodrome, quick as you can, we'll even give you extra if you want. Turns out, you know, we were in the car and everything, we got the live stream on 
and then it, it goes off. It, them two don't want to share their locations for obvious reasons. They are, you know, so talked about at the moment, Andrew Tate and Tristan, the brother. They go on live stream, they do it for 20 seconds and come off it. They kind of give you like a sneak peek of what they're up to, what they're doing, and then they're off. Like it's, a, it's like Batman in the, in the night sky. You know, you see him, you see the light, and then he's off. And then we're in the car and we're like, as the live stream's ended, you know, will we see them, will we not? Does that mean they're done? Because the car was going into the pits, this 720S. Five minutes later, the notification comes up. His brother's back on Instagram Live. What's he driving? He's driving the Bugatti Chiron at full blast down the strip. It was, must have been about 160 they were going. Whilst live streaming it, and then he ended it. I'm not kidding you, five seconds worth of live stream. I've, we screenshotted it, we've got the proof that he's in the Bugatti right now. And we we're like, okay, the main thing is we know the Bugatti is actually at the track because you never know, they might have left the Bugatti at home because it's such a, what, three million pound car. You might not want to track it. Just take your supercars out, like the 720S, take your Ferraris out. The Bugatti's actually here. So now we know that like, you know, there's a big chance of us seeing this. The journey then hits traffic and we're like, we're not gonna see it, what are the chances? We've even got our phones on record just in case he actually drives the other way and he's left the Dubai Autodrome. Bearing in mind my mates are in the other car behind about 10 minutes away because of, you know, lack of taxis at that time of night. Turns out they actually got there before us. You know, there's us tipping this Uber driver. He, he was slower than ever. You know, the other guys, they were zooming past and they actually got there before us and managed to not sneak past the security guard, but they just basically walked on to the, you know, kind of track bit, the open bit and his car was there. And at this point, I didn't even know because these three are taking photos of it and at that time, they got asked to leave. So as soon as we pull up in this car, them three are already walking back from the pit saying, oh yeah, we've just seen it. And we're like, oh my God, it's actually there. So we're like, okay, so, you know, is there a chance I could go and see it? And they're like, oh, the security just said, you know, that they're filming now, it's private. And I thought, no, no, I can't, I can't be having three of my best mates see it and us three can't. So then we were kind of like, right, we'll, we'll, we'll stay around and everything, but you can tell the security was spot on. Like with Andrew Tate, and like I said, you know, how secure he is, there were bodyguards everywhere. Not for I know, any other reason, but also because it's a private event at this supercar, you know, track they've done. And we found out in the end that they literally hired the track just for this evening for five supercars. God knows how much that would cost, but just for Andrew Tate to enjoy his supercars on track. So I'd of course walk up to uh, the like wall pit and I could see the car. I couldn't get a phone shot because of they were all looking, but we kind of stood there, arms behind our backs and just staring at it. And we were like, oh my God, like we've weirdly enough hunted down the most famous car at the moment in the world, but also the most famous person, not in a weird way, because I just want to see the car so badly. But because this guy's so famous, he's made this car, the Tate Bugatti, this icon of a car, and it's right in front of us. So we thought, well, we're at the track. We might as well go and get a coffee. All my mates, you know, they went to the next cafe along. And me and my mate thought, well, why don't we try and get to like a little viewing point of the track? Because if they go out again, we could get a wicked shot of them going around the track. Of course, two minutes later, all my mates are at the coffee drinking. We put this prime position on top of this track, like a, like a hairpin corner. And next thing you know, you hear this massive loud V12 start up. And it's one of Andrew Tate's mates who's got this uh, Novitech 812 GTS. And my God, the sound of that around the track was unreal. It was so cool. And then next thing you know, a camera car's coming in and then later on we find out they were just filming some like commercial stuff for literally Andrew Tate's Instagram. A camera car comes around and then the Pure Sport comes around. You've got the 720, I think it was actually a 765 LT actually and that was his brothers. You've got the 812, they're all in the line, they come around the corner and they all just zip past. And to see that on track, because at the moment it's closed off to public and me and my mate are just literally just sat on top of this track you know, if we got caught, I don't know what they'd say, but then you have the drones flying over and we're like, oh my God, we're gonna get caught soon because they're filming this mass commercial. I mean, clearly he's got, you know, enough money. He's literally throwing all this money up saying, I want this track for this whole evening. I've put all this money to film everything just for like a little Instagram post. But the fact we got to see all these cars go around the track, this is the most exclusive car. 10 minutes later, we leave them to it. We go off, say thanks to the security guard. There was no problem us being there. We wasn't interfering with them. We let them film with their stuff and we thought, wow, we've actually seen the car. We go and sit down with my mates who literally this cafe is looking onto the track and all of a sudden you see the 765 LT come driving towards us and that kind of means they're about to exit. To the last second when they turn, put the indicator on and they're gonna fill up the petrol and we're like, oh my God, we're, we're gonna be about to speak to him and we did. And actually, honestly, it was amazing to speak to Andrew Tate 
He was the nicest person ever. He was more than happy to speak to us about the cars. We got to have a look around the 765LT. It was beautiful. It's kind of now thinking about it, I wish he pulled up in the Bugatti because then I'd actually have a good look at it, if only. But um, the crazy thing is, we wasn't the only ones being smart enough to work out he was there, that there's already other people in Dubai driving to this track to see if they could get a glimpse of Andrew and the Bugatti. But no, it's cool to see the 765LT. They got the petrol and everything. They were fine for us to take photos. And then he said, we're gonna be leaving soon. So we thought, wow, we're actually gonna see the Bugatti come past. And in the end we did. And uh, it was incredible. You can see Andrew listening to his music inside with his new speakers he's put into the Bugatti. But yeah, to, to hunt down the most famous car at that time in the world was uh, very special. So at the time I saw Andrew, he was pretty much peak the most famous person on earth. But this was kind of before all the media and stuff took the turn with Greta exposing him and everything. So this was back in November. And then pretty much a month later, it kind of went downhill for him. I have no clue what's true and what's not. But for me personally, he was so nice to me in person. I had met him before actually back in the day in London because he used to drive his supercars around on the streets. And he literally lives 20 minutes from me anyway where he grew up. It's a hard one to say. I'm not saying I agree with a lot of stuff or disagree, you know, it's, for me, I'm just about his car. But um, that was just before all hell broke loose and it became even more popular to where now everyone's trying to make sense that this Bugatti's been stolen, it's been, you know, seized. As far as I know, it's literally been sat on the drive since. When you get a ticket, no matter where it happens, it's more important than ever to fight every one. And the perfect partner in that fight is the Ticket Clinic. When you get a ticket, you're facing costly insurance, premium increases, points on your license, fines, risk of suspension, jail time, and they can help you avoid all of that. They've got offices in Florida and in California, but they can help you fight a ticket through their network of attorneys, no matter where in the United States you get one. You can text a picture of your ticket to 305305, or you can check them out now at the link in the description below. So thank them for their support of Venwiki, of Car Trek, and fight your ticket with the Ticket Clinic.